All right, hopefully you can hear this without, uh, it's pretty windy today, uh, but I did tell you guys I'd show you the uh, acorn seed bed that I was gonna plant outside. Um, so this is it. Um, it's, it's about 360-ish um, sawtooth oaks acorns in here. Um, they're spaced about three inches apart. Uh, the rows are spaced um, five-ish inches apart probably. Um, not perfect rows, but close enough. Um, I did, as I mentioned in the last video, uh, high grade the acorns based on size. So basically I, I, so, I did soak them for 24 hours. Um, so last night they, they soaked. Uh, then today I just dumped it all out on my cart. Um, the water drains off and then I just start, you know, I probably select uh, 30 or 40, maybe 50 acorns at a time. Just pick out the 50 biggest acorns, put them in my bucket, start making rows. Um, after that, I go back and pick out the next 50 biggest. I don't, it's not that important, but uh, you don't want a small acorn or a really small acorn mixed in every few few um, plants or trees because uh, they'll, sh they'll shade out the other. So I tried, I started with that first row to the far right against the building and put my biggest, best acorns there, uh, hopefully so that you know they'll get tall and they're not up front because the sun uh this is this building is um we're we're right now we're looking uh south southwest um and so um a lot of the sun will get blocked out if your your bigger acorns um, are going to be on the uh the east side so i put them all towards the west um looks pretty good so now what I'll do is I'll cover this with um, about an inch or so this is really rich compost that's been here uh, it's tree bark compost it's really more of a mulch slash compost um, put down last year um, and I'll just cover these with about an inch of the same stuff and a little bit of soil mixed in uh, then I'll go ahead and soak I'll probably wet it down first then mulch or compost wet it one more time um, that'll be it for the planning process. I will probably go ahead um, and roll out. I have a roll of chicken wire or poultry netting or wire they call it. I'll roll that out on top of this um, to help protect uh, from squirrels and stuff digging them up hopefully. Um, I may, uh, you can see some of my containers right here, but I have a bunch uh, that were it, that, it was in this area prior to me doing this. I may put those back on top of that poultry wire um, for until you know later when I go to transplant those. So that'll also help protect them um, and keep the squirrels away. So anyways, just wanted to give you an update. Um, I'll update later on uh, in the growing process. Um, I don't expect these to um, actually shoot up until spring, hopefully, but they will start uh, sending roots out um, probably within within a few days or a week uh, they, they grow extremely fast they start germinating extremely fast um, and they grow big big root systems in the fall and that's the best time to plant these they are white oak that need no uh, stratification so anyways thanks for watching check out my other videos please subscribe uh, give it a thumb up if you like it All right, so this is an update on the trees uh, video you're watching right now after exactly one year within a couple of days. Um, as you can see, a lot of lot of trees uh, grew. Uh, there was a few, little washout on the end down there. Um, but for the most part, we had a really dry summer. Uh, I did not water these, maybe one time. Um, so this was just natural rainwater. Uh, but again, it was very dry. These would have done significantly better probably if I would have watered them. Uh, but overall, I still have a couple hundred, uh, probably two, 200, 250 at least, uh, these sawtooth oaks. You can see there's a little bit of uh, damage from, from bugs. I, I didn't treat this with any uh, insecticides or anything like that. I just, like I said, just planted them uh, like you saw early in the video uh, and just let them, let them do their natural thing. Uh, and I'll transplant them um, 
this this later this winter or early spring i'll just come through and pull them up here's one i pulled up to show you uh, you can see it's a nice long tap root um, and i'll just pull them up when it plant days do not let that root circle around like that you want that root straight so you got to dig the hole deep enough and then plant it to right about here um, so that's probably about a foot down um, you could also trim off the very tip of it if necessary but i try not to do that um, i just try to plant it as is uh, since i will not be planting more acorns on this side i have another side of this area that i'll i'll prepare pretty soon um, and uh, gather the acorns this year and plant on the other side dig these up or pull them up this winter transplant them and then this will be ready for more acorns next year so thanks for watching again please subscribe to our, the channel um, and hopefully you guys are finding a lot of good acorns um, and can plant some trees